Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. So we have one piece of news here and it's pretty interesting to see what, what exactly this is going to mean. So the news here is that Dark Horse seemed to have teamed up with Webtoon to basically bring the Avatar The Last Airbender comics uh, to the Webtoon format. Um, this means a couple of things. Probably the most significant one is just that this is technically like the first proper like official free way to read the mainline Avatar comics uh, because of the way that webtoons kind of do their kind of distribution this is going to be done like a lot of the kind of manga stuff is done where uh, there'll be a certain amount of chapters available for free uh, but it seems like you have to kind of sign up potentially to like read ahead into some more of the backlog well, we'll get into the details as we go forward uh, it is cool though to see kind of webtoons highlighting that hey we have the like continuation of the animated series uh, on our platform now with these comics like did you know that if you just watched Netflix Avatar or just gone back to the original Avatar that there is a continuation here what happens after uh, episode 21 of season 3 it happens in these comics and we have them now and you can see they, they've tagged all the official uh, places of course if you've seen it on Instagram Dark Horse uh, and um, the official ATLA account has um, posted about this as well so this is a hundred percent official so if we get into the details here here is the avatar page on webtoons on their website so you can see here there are three episodes available with seven more available on the app specifically but the idea here is that there are three available for free the other seven are effectively behind their sort of app coin monetization system where typically you have to buy the coins it seems like there are some ways to earn those coins i'm not really sure what they are um but the idea is that every saturday a new chapter is going to become available now we'll see what exact way does that work in terms of well, obviously i guess there will be now four free episodes but does that mean that there'll also be like an 11th episode added in overall like there's one added into the sort of um, monetized kind of pool one added into the free one we have to obviously wait and see because the kind of interesting thing here is of course that it isn't isn't all of the comics it's just what seems like most of the promise is up across the first 10 um, episodes again I, I can only look at the, the first three and uh, from what I can see, it only covers up to like, we're still in the promise part one. So um, it looks like it's going to take probably 12 to maybe 15 uh, episodes to get through an entire comic trilogy. So um, the, the promise omnibus here, the promise part one, two and three, uh, probably somewhere between maybe like, yeah, 10 at the least probably, but probably up to upwards to maybe 15 episodes to cover this book which is like obviously over 200 pages of content um so like i said um it's a free way to watch it to uh, read the story but there's obviously some stuff about like obviously the monetization system and then just the timing of this is that if you want to very slowly officially go through the comics for free this is certainly the way to do it but because all of the comics are out uh, how many people are going to have the the patience for that of like i want to read the comics and i want to read them officially but i'll i'll wait like six months to get through the search like officially through this format like the as you can see here here is uh uh, episode one so you can see the difference sort of immediately the webtoons format is basically continuous scroll comics where instead of you seeing a page of a comic with multiple panels uh, what you see is it's always going downwards and um, so this is obviously to make it sort of slightly clearer i guess mainly for phones and scrolling through that way and um, so you can see here this in the original is across like one page the elements but they do it effectively almost they give them their own own kind of full screen scroll and then as you go into more of the panels you can see they all go down and for the most part there's not a lot that's really like side to side here because it's built for um kind of the the phone format kind of primarily hence why they're kind of emphasizing the app in all of this um just in case you haven't seen it of course uh, that is the way this panel or these panels look in the uh kind of original kind of material there all four of these are on one page and it just gives you a slight sense for what they're doing here 
So obviously some editing has to go into that and that's probably why they don't have like everything available immediately. It, it takes time to basically pick apart this comic to format it like this. Um, but there's still a lot of material they have to get through because of course there's the promise. It doesn't seem like, I'm not sure if all of it's up. Um, then there's the search, then the rift, then smoke and shadow, north and south, imbalance. And then if you'll note in the description here, they also mention Legend of Korra. So there's Turf Wars and Runes of the Empire as well, plus uh, the one-shot comics and some of the short story stuff, which I assume will probably go up at some point. We'll have to wait and see how exactly they go about doing that. But it seems like there's a lot of popularity here based on the numbers, of course. So it's obviously doing very well. It is bringing people in to the comics in some way um i just i hope that a lot of these people kind of doing this are aware that this is not this new thing that what you're seeing here across especially the free chapters is like a a 12 year old comic like the promise originally came out in like 2012 basically so um we're coming to this like m very long after the fact. This isn't new stuff. So I hope people are aware that like if you want to read it, it's all out there in multiple formats uh, to get. Um, I Obviously, people really like the Webtoons format. I guess it is quite readable um, and maybe that will make people kind of experience the comics slightly better. But um It'll be interesting to see just how well this actually does. The, the problem is that, like I said, it's going to take an eternity for people following through this format on its own to actually get through the material. Um, because, like I said, there's only a promise up right now. So many other stuff still needs to come onto this. Uh, and that kind of then brings up the, the other question of just like, is this just to have a different format, way to release the, the comics that are already out? Is there in any way the opportunity for this um, kind of uh, collaboration here to lead to a situation where maybe we get a new original Avatar comic done as a webtoon? I think that will be really interesting just for that release format that we've never really had before. That being sort of like weekly chapter releases with a certain amount of content for us to discuss but the consistency of knowing that there's more next week there's more the week afterwards um that's the sort of stuff that i think is the the kind of hype aspect of this if they were to do new original content because it would be a massive contrast to the way dark horse typically does their releases which is that especially over the last few years there's been giant gaps between books we haven't really been doing like super super important storytelling uh, in that like if you're really rereading the promise again for the first time in a while there is a bit of a gulf between the significance of this comic versus some of the short story stuff that while still interesting is clearly not uh, doesn't have the same kind of notoriety kind of level overall um, so I, I'd love to see what this could actually lead towards. At the moment, it, it feels like it is just here to be sort of like, hey, just another way to read what's already out there. Um, like I said, it has that benefit of being a free kind of method of uh, bringing people in um, that will be continuous over time. So if people want to follow it this way, it's a, it's a decent way to go through the comics. Uh, give people the familiarity with it but uh, I'd, I'd like to know if there potentially is more of an opportunity kind of going on here because um, as a fan of kind of manga and anime um, especially the, the manga kind of chapter releases I, I would love to have that experience with Avatar and uh, I think it is kind of suited for this format and so if they were to get an art team together a creative team together to do an original story uh, specifically constructed for the uh, kind of webtoon uh, style I think it could work really really well because the kind of continuous scroll kind of format here allows you to just get I think for the most part pretty clear clean art because there's not as much of a need to mess around with kind of panels um, as much as in uh, kind of typical comics. So um, interesting stuff to just see that this obviously adds on to a lot of other 
collaborations in other aspects of the franchise that are going on right now like all the video game collaborations we've heard about recently that are coming up sort of soon the fact that this is happening just a couple of weeks uh, after Netflix Avatar it does feel like Avatar is building up to stuff that this is a major get for Webtoon this is a pretty notable collaboration on the comics front all this other stuff is happening it's just when are avatar studios going to say something and bring this all together that we are getting the benefit of everything in the franchise coming together and it feels like that for the most part you would say that merchandise is a little uh, low compared to where it was uh, a while ago but that can kick off at any point i think we we seem to know that m that might be part of their marketing strategy for the coming months so that that's something to certainly keep an eye out for um and of course just the avatar studios stuff in general the animated projects when they, when do they finally bring us up to speed on what's actually going on with them because that's the final stage of this is that you're marketing the comics the the, the continuation that's happened in the meantime you need to tell us about the future and once they do a lot of the social media stuff is cut you can sort of see it all beginning to come together avatar is really popular again but you need to really hit home that you have new stuff for the future and they don't quite seem to want to do that just yet but anyway uh, that has been the video so in the comments let me know what your thoughts on this and um, how big of a deal do you think it is that I, I, avatar comics are coming to webtoon does this interest you or is this very much just like well i already have the comics i can read them i don't really need the webtoons kind of format what are your thoughts on how they've gone about doing this and what exactly this means um would you be interested if they were to maybe someday do an original avatar uh, kind of webtoon webcomic um that has a bit of a kind of weekly release style thing and um, definitely let me know in the comments below but uh, otherwise that's been the video thanks for watching and bye